ale, ginger syrup, and gin for the Ginger Rogers. Yeah, that had alcohol in it. 131,416, know what I mean. Let's get on the scene, Jelly Bean. Question number four. Which system of the human body is the liver part of? Endocrine, digestive, or nervous? Your liver. My grandmother always like, remember the liver. And I'm like, Grandma, I'm, I'm 12. I'm not, I'm not out here drinking in these streets. But now it stays with me now as an adult. I remember the liver. All right. If you've successfully eaten anything recently, uh, give some thanks to your liver. Okay. It does an amazing amount of stuff, including helping you digest. Shout out to the amazing human body. Digestive system was the right answer there. That's a savage question. Oh boy. Savage quest sound. Sorry you got That's a savage question song. Let's get it. Savage question. Savage question. Woo. -hoo. 62,551 of you. Got that one right. You're moving on to question number five. Ah, 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 question five, question five. Ah, 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 question five. Ah, yeah, ah, yeah, ah. Okay. <sighs> Which of these cities is a national capital? San Jose, Sydney, or Sao Paulo? A national capital out of these three. Which one is it? It's up to you, babies. If you're playing nearby other age cuties, you might have used an eraser just now. Might have used uh, an extra life because you didn't know what was going on. Let's see. Remember how the capital of Australia is uh, Canberra? Canberra? Can I, did I say that right? I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> and Sao Paulo is enormous, but the capital of Brazil is Brasilia. Yeah, which means Costa Rica, San Jose is the only capital here, babies. San Jose, that's another savage question. Oh, dip. Savage quest twice. This game isn't nice. Savage quest twice. That's the second savage question. Savage question. Savage question. Mmm. Yeah, it's time for question number six. All the other kids with the question six better run, better run. Tap the right assholes. In film production. What does looping improve the quality of? Camera work, lighting, or sound? Looping, baby! What's it make better? You tell me. I know the answer already. All right, a lot of stuff can go wrong when you're making a movie or a mobile app broadcast in front of hundreds of thousands of people at night. Especially if you're trying to record dialogue with a bunch of other noise going on. So to fix it, you put those actors in a booth, right? Flip on a microphone and loop all those words. You loop it for the sound. It's going down 28,211. I'm uh, moving on to question number seven. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. What type of animal is a basenji? Antelope, dog, or bat? A basenji. What the heck is a basenji? Hmm. I'm asking you, asking you, huh? Right, this animal is known for making a yodeling sound called a baru. Yeah, it's a great word, baru. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. It's the basenji, native to Africa, also known as the barkless dog. It's a type of dog. It's a canine. Twenty-two thousand fifty-three in the place to be. Moving on to question number eight. Feeling great. Let's get it! A legal chess move lets players do what in the space of one turn? Capture two pieces, move the king two spaces, or replace the rook with the knight. Hmm? Check it out, chess heads. As long as you've cleared out the space between these pieces, you can play a move called castling. That's where you slide the rook over, right? And then you move the sluggish, helpless king two whole spaces. Moving the king two spaces, baby. 10,086. I'm uh, moving on to question number nine. Know you're feeling fine. Here we go all the time. Let's get it. Question number nine. What is the only NBA court whose floor is not made of maple wood? Denver, Boston, or Phoenix? Maple wood on the floor. This 
This court doesn't have it. <laughs> All right. You better believe Toronto uses maple, right? That's not even an option. The NBA loves maple enough to use it on 29 out of his 30 courts, which means it would be universal if not for the red oak on the floors of TD Garden, home of the Boston Celtics, y'all. Beantown ain't got no maple on the floor. <laughs> 5,099. That's another savage question. Let's get it anyway. Come on now. Savage quest thrice. I like pork fried rice. Savage quest thrice. That's the third savage quest song. Savage question. Savage question. Woo! -hoo! All right, we did that. We just got that one out of the way. Question number 10, my friends. Here we go again. In what 90s music video is it possible to spot the front man of the metal band Fear Factory? Praise You, Smells Like Teen Spirit, or Bittersweet Symphony? Hmm? What's it gonna be? Alright, it's not totally surprising that Burton Bell, then and still lead singer of Fear Factory, would take part in a music video mosh pit, right? And the mosh pit in question appears in Nirvana's Smells Like Teen Spirit. Yeah, let's hear it. Woo woo! 4,534. Uh, moving on to question 11. All dogs go to heaven. And cats too. And goldfish. And betas. One time I had a beta fish. I was cleaning out the tank. And he, the fool jumped out the tank. And I turned back around. And I stepped and felt a squish. I was so sad. I didn't leave my house for two weeks. Because I stepped on my fish. I'm sorry. Question 11. Here we go. What African nation has the most stripes on its flag? Uganda, Zimbabwe, or Liberia? I don't know why I brought that up. I don't know why I brought that up. I don't know why I brought that up. It's a beautiful fish. He had a SpongeBob themed tank. Speaking of SpongeBob, make sure you tune in. Sunday night at nine. SpongeBob trivia, y'all. All right, three stripes on a flag isn't cool, okay? You know what's cool? Lots of stripes. Lots of stripes on a flag. Like uh, Uganda, they got six. Zimbabwe got seven. And the stripe champion, Liberia, got 11 stripes on a flag, y'all. Liberian girl, you know that you came and you changed my world. Just like in the movies. Hey! Alright, 2,885. Oh, staying alive, you're moving on to question number 12, babies. Give yourself a round of applause. Question 12. What's that smell? Smells like money. Follow me at Matt What's Funny. Woo, the game glitched. The game glitched, but it's okay, y'all. Hey, it's okay. Woo, we're back and better than ever. Yeah. Question 12. Question 12. Which classic animal book has a bizarre sequel where the animals make contact with outer space creatures? 101 Dalmatians, Charlotte's Web, or Watership Down? Uncle Maddie needs a happy hour. Word. It's been quite the day. All right, let's see if y'all got this right. Here we go. Hollywood's shown zero interest in animating the follow-up story where every human is mysteriously falling asleep and animals are invited by aliens to evacuate Earth. That's Dottie Smith's The Starlight Barking, or part two of 101 Dalmatians. What? Crazy. We got 515 winners of HQ Trivia tonight. Let's Go! Woo! That was also savage! But it's too late to sing the song because we showing y'all the graphic for the winners. My bad. I should have caught it faster. You right. You right. I apologize. Thousand pardons, babies! All right, Hobby Horse, you got $9.71. Harumph! Congratulations. I told Kid, you got some money. PC Icon, you got some money too. Drew Boy 85, congratulations. TS Garp, 
Alex B, Dr. Toth, Dr. B uh, Bob Telsa, Tesla, whoops, uh, Power Ranger guy, Alex, yeah, everybody, oh, man, I'm so proud of y'all. I say that every time. Congratulations to all the winners. I've been your host, Matt Richards. Welcome to the HQ Leaderboard. You guys are getting points that are adding up to the season finale, which is going to be on Christmas. Follow me on the socials at Matt Was Funny. At Matt Was Funny. Be sure to come back tomorrow at 9 p.m. for another chance at $5,000. And then on Sunday for the SpongeBob trivia. Y'all join us at 9 p.m. for that. Happy Friday! Mmm! I'm going to see y'all later. Bye! Woo! <laughs>